Hello everyone, uh, this is Mandeep Parmi again from uh, ASA Driving School. Uh, we are in uh, Edmonton, Alberta and uh, we are in uh, Millwood area in uh, Edmonton, Alberta. So in this video we will be driving um, in uh, Millwood's area and um, just now uh, cover you know some of the residential area here and uh, look at some left turn right turns. Um, so yeah this video will uh, help you out uh, if you're going for your basic or even uh, advanced uh, driving test. And if you, you know, I suggest you take a couple driving lessons uh, from a professional like our school um, before you go for your driving test. So uh, let's uh, get going. So when you move from a parked position, you want to signal and shoulder check. If something is on your right hand side, then you signal left and left shoulder check. So left signal, left uh, shoulder check. Just to indicate uh, you're going to start moving from a parked position. And uh, now we see a uh, three-way stop sign coming up and uh, we are uh, turning left at stop sign. So um, there is a stop line, so we will do a complete stop uh, before the stop line. And um, on a three-way stop sign, um, if you stop first, that means uh, you get the right of way. On the right-hand side, you can see a playground sign. So speed limit here is maximum 30 kilometers. And uh, you have to follow this uh, 30 speed limit sign um, every day uh, so it doesn't matter you know if uh, it's a weekday or a weekend or holiday um, you have to because you're in playground zone you have to follow that sign crosswalk we are checking now playground sign uh, playground ends so speed limit goes back to 50 kilometers let's go right on this street here so right signal on I did right shoulder check and uh, we don't have a stop sign so we are good to go this red car is too close to the intersection so that means i can directly go in the next um, lane if you see uncontrolled intersection like this you want to slow down and uh, check left and right it's very important because if you don't do that um, that could be a automatic fail so same thing here another uncontrolled intersection slow down check so this time the street was only on the right hand side so that means uh, you have to check on the right hand side now we see another um, stop sign coming up and uh, we are turning left so i have my left signal on your signal should be on about uh, 30 meters before the intersection complete stop here before the sidewalk because we did not see any um, stop line and uh, now i can uh, roll forward uh, to check traffic on both sides it's always better to check on the left hand side because uh, you know traffic will be closer um, to you from the left hand side uh, left side looks clear and uh, right side there is a uh, little bit traffic and now we are good to go so you want to cross the yellow line and then go on the right side of the yellow line if you um, don't see a speed limit sign that means uh, you drive at uh, 50 kilometers so that means uh, 50 kilometers maximum uh, you can drive at like 45 47 kilometers um, always keep uh, both hands on the steering wheel so now the light turns green and uh, we are good to go so again uh, we are in uh, millwood uh, area in uh, edmonton alberta if you guys are uh, looking for driving lessons in edmonton alberta give me a call send me a text message uh, you guys see the number on the screen and uh, now we see another uh, crosswalk coming up and uh, on the crosswalks uh, you have to check left and right you can uh, cover your brake like you don't have to press on the brake uh, because you're just checking and if you see a pedestrian who wants to cross um, then uh, then you stop because pedestrians uh, they got the right of way so this uh, traffic light there is a little bit uh, construction uh, going on uh, so another crosswalk here so we will uh, still go straight uh, from this uh, traffic light now you can uh, see there is a sign indicating if you want to turn left and then you have to go in the left lane so this lane will go straight left lane is only for left turns and uh, if you want to turn right then you're supposed to be on the right hand side when you stop behind a car uh, you want to leave about uh, eight or ten feet distance so you should be able to see the back wheels uh, on the ground now when you're waiting for the green light, I suggest uh, you still keep both hands on the steering wheel. Um, it's not a good practice to relax your hand, like if you take your hands 
and uh, relax like this uh, they're not gonna fail you in the test uh, but uh, you know it's just not a good thing so you're behind the wheel so you should uh, keep both hands on the steering all the time checking on both sides just to make sure uh, cross traffic has stopped um, there's construction going on so in construction zone like this uh, you can slow down a little bit and now we see a sign on the right hand side saying uh, you know speed limit is going to be 30 kilometers maximum we are already already doing 30 kilometers so um, we are good I suggest you drive around you know 27 28 because if you go at uh, 30 kilometers and you you know um, by mistake you can go over the speed limit this uh, traffic light uh, let's go right so same thing here uh, if you look at the overhead signs uh, from this lane you can go straight or right so we're gonna be turning right and uh, the left lane is for left turns and your signal should be on about uh, 30 meters before the intersection so if you are uh, going for your basic road test or advanced uh, road test um, I suggest you take a couple driving lessons just to brush up on the rules and uh, looks like we are good to go now there's a little bit you know you can see the road is uh, bumpy so you can uh, drive slower if the road condition is not good so you always drive according to the road condition and the weather Now we see a crosswalk, um, but this pedestrian is not on the crosswalk, so that means uh, we get the right of way. The light is red, so I'm uh, doing a complete stop here before the stop line. And now we are just waiting for the light to turn green. So we're just going to drive a little bit more in this area and um, then uh, I will do another video in a different area. Again we teach uh, all over Edmonton, not just in Millwood, we teach uh, all over uh, Edmonton, um, you know, Alberta. So if you're looking for lessons, um, you guys can call or send us a text message on the number. So let's do a left turn here so you can signal shoulder check. And now we see a car coming from the front. Uh, this car gets the right of way. So we're going to stop in the intersection here. And now we can go because the next car is a little bit far. Pedestrian uh, on the street here. So we, I'm just slowing down. Because you don't want to go too close to, uh, you know, pedestrians. Um, that's um, that's a, you know, definitely automatic fail if you are uh, going too close to pedestrians. Same thing with the parked cars. Uh, you want to maintain distance from uh, parked cars as well maintain like about uh, you know three feet um, about one meter just for the door you know door to open um, let's do a right turn here so signal shoulder check we move over to the right side complete stop here before the sidewalk and now we can roll forward checking traffic looks clear and now we are good to go and we will be turning left at traffic lights so signal mirror check shoulder check another shoulder check and one more time shoulder check uh, you can change uh, multiple lanes um, what I did here is good but I uh, just want like I suggest you you know do shoulder check every time uh, when you change lane from one lane to the next lane um, it's good to uh, do a shoulder check uh, there should be only one car in the intersection at a time so um, right now this uh, this uh, white truck uh, is in the intersection so that means I have to stay behind the stop line when this guy starts to move uh, now I can pull in the intersection because the light is still green there's no more oncoming traffic there's no pedestrian crossing so that means I'm good to go speed limit sign on the right hand side um, it shows maximum 60 kilometers so I can drive around uh, 55 kilometers um, so after your turns you always want to look for a speed limit sign on the you know on the right hand side and uh, let's do another left turn here so signal shoulder check I'm going in the left lane and um, this time uh, same thing here uh, you know if there is uh, oncoming traffic then you stop but looks clear so we are good to go and uh, you want to go on the right side of the yellow line right now we are behind this white car so I will signal shoulder check to move around it uh, if any time when you're moving uh, more than three feet um, that means you have to signal and shoulder check so three feet is about uh, one uh, one meter 
we will be turning right so right signal i did right shoulder check to pull back to my side we have a yield sign so that means we just have to slow down check traffic on the left it looks clear and now we are good to go i'm just going to stop behind this uh, blue car here so i got my right signal on to indicate other drivers that i'm going to stop here cancel signal put the car in park uh, so that's it for this video everyone thank you very much and uh, again if you guys are in uh, edmonton alberta looking for driving school driving lessons uh, give us a call send us a text message and uh, we will be more than happy to help you guys out uh, help you guys out and um, yeah so that's it for this one and i will see you guys again in the next uh, next video